Welcome to the ninth lecture of that public speaking interactive course. Today we are going to discuss the beginning and ending of the speech. Here is the content of this video course. The introduction. A. Get attention and interest. B. Reveal the topic. C. Establish credibility and goodwill. D. Preview the body of the speech. E. Tips for preparing the introduction. The conclusion. A. Signal the end of the speech. B. Reinforce the central idea. C. Tips for preparing the conclusion. The first impressions are important. A poor beginning may alienate listeners that the speaker can never fully recover. Therefore, it's important to make a good introduction. In most speech situations, the introduction has four objectives. Get attention and interest. Reveal the topic. Establish credibility and goodwill. Preview the body of the speech. The first sub-point to discuss is get attention and interest as Clarence Darrow says. Unless a speaker can interest his audience at once, his effort will be a failure. If your topic is not one of extraordinary interest, your listeners are likely to say to themselves, so what? Who cares? A speaker can quickly lose an audience if she or he doesn't use the introduction to get their attention and quicken their interest. Methods of keeping the attention of your audience Relate the topic to the audience State the importance of your topic Startle the audience Arouse the curiosity of the audience Question the audience Begin with the quotation Tell a story The next sub-point is reveal the topic In the process of gaining attention Be sure to state clearly the topic of your speech If you do not, your listeners will be confused if you beat around the bush in your introduction, you may all lose your listeners. Therefore, restate the topic clearly, even if they already know it. Next subpoint we will discuss is establish credibility and goodwill. Credibility is the audience's perception of whether a speaker is qualified to speak on a given topic. Your credibility need not be based on first-hand knowledge or experience. It can come from reading, from classes, from interviews, from friend etc. Establishing your goodwill is slightly different challenge. Goodwill is the audience's perception of whether the speaker has the best interests of the audience in mind. The fourth sub-point to discuss is preview the body of the speech. Preview statement is a statement in the introduction of a speech that identifies the main points to be discussed in the body. Be sure that you include a preview statement in order to help the audience to sort out your ideas. And last but not least is tips for preparing the introduction. Keep the introduction relatively brief. Under normal circumstances it should not constitute more than 10 to 20 percent of your speech. Be on the lookout for possible introductory materials as you do your research. File them with your notes so they will be handy when you are ready for them. Be creative in devising the introduction. Experiment with two or three different openings and choose the one that seems most likely to get the audience interested in your speech. Do not worry about the exact wording of your introduction until you have finished preparing the body of the speech. Work out your introduction in detail. You can write it word for word or outline it. The Conclusion No matter what kind of speech you are giving, the conclusion has two major functions. To let the audience know you are ending the speech to reinforce the audience's understanding of, or commitment to, the central idea. First sub-point to discuss is signal the end of the speech. In conclusion, my purpose has been, let me end by saying, these are all brief cues that you are getting ready to stop. You can also inform about conclusion by use of the voice, its tone, pacing, intonation, and rhythm. Crescendo ending is a conclusion in which the speech builds to a zenith of power and intensity. The next sub-point is reinforce the central idea. The second major function of a conclusion is reinforce the audience's understanding of, or commitment to, the central idea. There are many ways to do this. Summarize your speech. End with a quotation. Make a dramatic statement. Refer to the introduction. Next sub-point is tips for preparing the conclusion as with the introduction, keep an eye out for possible concluding materials as you research and develop the speech. Conclude with a bang, not a whimper. 
be creative in devising a conclusion that hits the hearts and minds of your audience. Don't be long-winded. The conclusion will normally make up no more than 5 to 10 minute. Don't leave anything in your conclusion to change. Work it out in detail, and give yourself plenty of time to practice delivering it. In conclusion, first and last impressions are important in the speech. That is why the speech needs strong introduction and conclusion. In most speech situations it's important to accomplish four objectives with the introduction get the attention of the audience, reveal the topic, establish credibility and goodwill, and preview the body of the speech. It is vital to know main objectives of a speech conclusion to let the audience know that the speaker is ending and to reinforce the central idea. All presented information is taken from the book The Art of Public Speaking by Stephen Lucas.